videos and welcome back to my channel as you see by the title today is going to be another entrepreneur vlog so as you can see your girl just woke okay your girl just woke up but i have a few things that i need to go ahead and do now first things first let me where is that bag luckily when we got in last night um i did majority of the cleaning well me and mozzie shout out to mozzie thank you for helping we did majority of the cleaning I have some more clean clothes that i have to finish folding and just stuff like that so also today i will be filming my p.o box unboxing because i have i think all of the packages for my p.o box at least all the ones that i'll be filming that's not it it's some more and these here are the packages that i have to So basically, I'm just labeling. I'm about to label two of these orders right off the bat. But anyway, how are you guys doing? It feels like a Monday, but luckily it's only two. I mean, luckily it's Tuesday. Because that just, you know, pushes us closer to the next weekend coming up which is exciting for me at least. Some people may not like weekends, but just cause some people like may work, have days off during the week and work on the weekend, you know, type of thing. Anybody who can relate to being excited for having the weekend off my loves, we feel the same. We are excited about it, you know? I just peeked at my Shea Butter Mills it and that makes me sad. Okay, so I was thinking that it was cool enough for me to like send off the Shea Butters without wrapping them in the oil like I had been doing regularly, um, but apparently I was wrong. So anybody who received a melted butter, please just let me know. Send me a picture in my DM or my email or whatever you prefer and I'll go ahead and send you off another one because this is not how I want you guys to receive your butters. Like it's completely melted and everything. And like I said, I would send off another one, but that just hurt my feelings. I thought I was in the clear because it's been like in the 60s and whatnot, but I guess not, but that's fine. Like I said, just let me know and I'll resend. I would say welcome back to my channel, but I know that I already randomly started a vlog. So now it's just time for me to like add more content. So I've already mentally prepared myself for like an all-nighter experience. But yeah, so I'm currently on my way to the post office, so that's what made me decide to go ahead and pick up the camera because your girl has to drop off a few packages. But tonight I have some t-shirts to make, some masks to design, some, um, and then I have other orders of just like whipped shea butters and face masks. And I have some jogging suits to create, so I figured that you guys might be excited about that. So I'm just really excited. This should be an exciting vlog. What the? Why does my car say that we're not only 2010, but April 6th of 2010? I wish I could knock off 10 years in my life. <laughs> I would be 10 years old. No, I wouldn't. Why was my math just so off? <laughs> what? Okay, I have to go. This is too much. It's officially fall. Like, there's no more 70 degrees. Nothing. None of that. It's fall. Okay. Oh, crap. The lighting is terrible right now. I'm just trying to grab a few of these packages. I may have to start recording because I need my hands. I should have just carry the full box in. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, today I'm back at the... Um, post office that I don't like but whatever we're here because I just need to drop stuff off thank you you're welcome I'm having the most terrible sweet tooth in the world and I really 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 want to go vegan so I'm about to do that so I'm gonna go grocery shopping in what universe is it 4 6 2010 
please explain. Good morning, you guys. If you see Lace, ignore it, okay? Ignore her. So right now, I'm just pretty much packing up my work bag for the day. Work bag, meaning like everything that I need in order to like get orders done and get my edits out the way. I've been trying to like create workspaces. You guys will understand when I'm able to explain a bit further. Just to like go to a place and get some stuff done other than like my home. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> The truest reason that I've been having a hard time vlogging this go around with this particular vlog is because I have not been able to find like my tripod for whatever reason. So like with me not finding my tripod, it just made things a lot harder because when I go to like do something, I actually have to hold the camera which takes away from like what I'm actually doing. But for some reason, I don't like the whole ring light thing because it just seems way less personal. But anyway, I'm packing up my work bag and I found my tripod so now I'll be able to go ahead and like try to hopefully um, film this and hopefully I can put like the other parts of the vlog together and we can just make it like a week in the life of an entrepreneur or something like that just because I've been picking up the camera a little bit here and there each day excuse the packages and all this like shopping stuff in the background but I figured this is actually kind of somewhat of like an interesting topic like what do you guys like to pack in your work bag what is necessary um, for you to take along with you in order for you to like have a productive day or you know if you're an entrepreneur like to get your orders done aside from the obvious things like the actual product like what else do you need you know? I have something really exciting well I actually have two things that I'll be um, that I'm really excited to unbox on camera for you guys once I get to my workplace a purse as well as a backpack I also try to do my best to have like early starts so right now it's currently 7:42. did have my alarm begin to go off at 5 a.m but we know how that goes i like i said i've been trying to get like back in the habit when i really really need to um wake up early i will but on the days where it's like i kind of need to then i'm like eh. so yeah anywho i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now and i will see you guys once we get into the car all righty so we are out of the house it's currently 7:53, so i was able to leave before 8 a.m which is good but anyway, another thing that I've been trying to be consistent with is just like me getting back on the healthy track. Like last summer, I was probably the healthiest that I had ever been. Like during the month of Ramadan, I was just like super healthy. I wasn't eating meat. I was barely eating like um, starch. I was really on my stuff. But then I started just like being ratchet with it. Like I would just eat like a bunch of pizza, you know, just being raggedy. Baby, y'all don't believe in driving the speed limit. Y'all don't.
Okay, so I have another thing that I want to go ahead and open. I'm kind of excited slash nervous about this unboxing because it's like, I just had to make sure that it's right. You know what I mean? I need scissors to be right back. I don't want to cut the wrong thing though. How do you even open something like this? This is complicado. Okay, so this is the next step. Let me make sure there's nothing in there. Nope. My C's and my crown. So it's really lit and I'm excited. I wanted to go ahead and open that up for you guys. I got a bunch more. So y'all go shop the Jogging Suits. We're almost out of stock. I'm about to put these away. I've been trying to like do some cleaning up and stuff or whatever because y'all know how I get. So that's why I wanted to open this so that I can get rid of this. Good morning, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Your girl is back and she better. She, all right, shut up. Anyways, so tell me how you guys have been liking A Week in the Life of an Entrepreneur. Although, I didn't really go too into depth like on what I was doing for each day. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're now at Friday. But, you know, I just figured it would be something nice. So let me know if you guys like it. And if you do like it, like let me know if you want me to actually like make it a long like 30, 30 type minute thing because that's what it would turn into. First of all, Let's rep our set of collections. Pink two piece, okay, period. It's a button down pajama set. Go shop, you guys. It's so cute and comfy. But anyway, for what you guys are really here to talk about or to see, rather, is it's time for me to start pressing some stuff, okay? So this is the mask. The thing that was hard for me originally was trying to figure out which part was the inside and which part was the outside. But this has better stitching, so that's the outside. And this is the inside, which means I'll be printing on this part. And as far as top and bottom, it's exactly the same. So there's nothing I have to worry about in terms of that. Um, I did go ahead and press it down the middle like I do with my shirts to make sure that it's even. So yeah, we're just going to get into me pressing these um, masks. And hopefully you guys will see and love the process. two of the masks so far we're going to move on to the shirts but this is the shirt that i'm going to be pressing the design onto it's a different type of um, material that i typically press on so like i told you guys um i always make sure i look it up when i'm when i'm pressing on to these jogging suits when i'm pressing on to um my shirts versus like everything is different so you want to make sure that you're covering that because if not you can damage the actual material of the clothing and the vinyl may not adhere properly if you don't do the correct steps so so with that being said i guess i will go ahead and just finish out the mask really quickly then i'll come through and do this because i don't want to have to change the heat settings if necessary if you know what i mean
you guys i feel so overwhelmed so overwhelmed so overwhelmed so overwhelmed oh baby no ma'am no ma'am i can't nope no ma'am mm -mm. nope Hey guys, so I wanted to come on here and kind of just talk a little bit about um, the last clip because I know it's probably confusing unless like you're an entrepreneur and you just honestly already completely understand. But like how I can like celebrate so many like high things that happen but then I can also get stressed out. Um, one day I really want to sit down and do a video on how like honestly complex I feel and just the different feelings that I have just being an entrepreneur. I would not trade it for the world it's literally a dream come true but I get so overwhelmed sometimes and sometimes I get really stressed out and sometimes I'm really hard on myself and like sometimes life just catch, catches up with me but at the same time I have to make sure I'm on top of my game when it comes to my business because I'm the one who runs it and you know what I mean like it's just very necessary as well as my YouTube channel so one day I really do want to go ahead and do a sit down video and just really really go into that into depth um, and see even if, for example like I realized in this particular vlog two outfits that I wore in Chicago I wore in this vlog because I came home and washed them right away and it was so much easier for me to just dig into a bag and put on some clothes that I know that I have and that are clean versus me actually just looking for something it's just like little stuff like that but anyway um, I finally got something in the mail and I'm really excited I think these are my bonnets so I just wanted to open them on camera for you guys really quickly just to end this off So this is an example of the black one. Then pink. They were literally worth the wait, which makes me so happy. They're big, so they can fit a lot of different hairstyles, but this is of great stretch quality. I'm so excited. I'm gonna print on them, but in the meantime, shout out to Bonnets. Breakfast was just delivered. I'm so excited because I got some avocado toast, and then what kind of, how do you call these eggs? Uh, it's the uh, sunny side up. Yeah, so. Or something like that. And they would have said they cut it like blasted eggs or okay like from first watch and then i also got myself a side of potatoes and then let's see then you got this um it was like a bowl right yeah. except since it's to go it don't look like that with some toast actually that jelly would be yours if you wanted it for your toast oh for the toast yeah because i have avocado on mine but it looks super good so about to dig in wanted to come on here and end this vlog i thank you guys so much for watching thus far make sure you comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this type of video comment down below any questions comments from times video suggestions and all that good stuff emoji of the day is the swirl the blue swirl because you know all over the place anyway see you guys in my next video oh also decided i'm going to now join vlogtober so is that what it's called yeah vlogtober so i'll be posting every day for the rest of this month bye